What's up everyone? This is Kieran and Reese, so as known as the Obsessive Impulsive Gamer, the OCG, and man oh man, am I excited to be playing Dying Light 2. Twenty thirty six. So fourteen years from now. Fifteen years after the fall. So technically the fall occurred in twenty twenty one in this world. any fucking time, do they? You still got it. You know, this game used to be more fun. <laughs> and you used to be younger. I'm dumber. I'm dumber. What matters is, you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. Okay, hold on a second. Let me check some settings. Hold on one second, let me check something. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to... Something about the aiming feels weird to me. Okay. I wonder, does this game have a photo mode? It feels like it should. Here, let me look and see real quick. Because this is a game I feel like I'm going to be taking a lot of photos of. Oh, so you can limit the HUD, but there is no photo mode. Well, that kind of sucks, but alright. Hold on to me.
I mean, I appreciate the shading that gets added to the grass and all that shit. But it's just not worth it to me. I'm probably gonna stick to performance mode. Maybe I might fuck around with it a little bit, but yeah. Hold on a second, is there, hold on, video. I'm not gonna do that. See you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Wait, is Come. that Spike? I want to show you something. The original game? Where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. But you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know. But I'm fucking off. I know I'm fucking awesome. That's funny, actually. Now, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Seriously, I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, uh, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshack. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here too. Hold on, I, need, I think, yeah, hold on, let me see. Feed volume, stream mode, TV output. Gotten a bit dull since the last... Video, yeah, I think it, hold on. Last time we saw each other, huh? Back to work. This'll do. Do you remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh yeah, the one that had that saying, uh, remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living.
Come on, we almost there. Wow. <laughs> Somebody had a nice crib. Damn it, locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. Then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. Oh, you think you're watching? I appreciate you. I didn't mean to play Dying Light 2 forever. I was really excited for it. And now, after I wrapped up Elden Ring, I'm finally getting into it. Oh, wrapped up. I say wrapped up. I've been playing Elden Ring for months, trying to 100% complete it. If there's a zombie in here, you have to tell me. Those are the rules. Okay, I don't make them. What the? Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know our saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. That's what they called art? Suicide party. That's heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. They died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay.
At least they had each other. She was classy. Yeah, well, she's reading fucking Metamorphosis by Ovid. for parkour it feels very different from the first game which I guess is to be expected considering the seven year gap between Dying Light 1 and 2 yeah. I like fucking with the video modes to see different things especially with the way quality adds ray trace lighting I ultimately never stick with them long though because I prefer frame rate over pretty much everything else Did they all just get so drunk they died, or did they poison themselves? <sighs> Dearest Mary, I'm Dearest sorry. Mary, oh, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. That is fucking sad. Although in actuality, they have surmised that the zombie apocalypse will not last very long. Like people have said that an active corpse would decay so rapidly that within a month all the zombies would be gone because their bodies would just be fucking bones. Like, even if they reanimated, they would eventually be walking skeletons. And if they somehow managed to survive as walking skeletons, well, I mean, it's not hard to be a skeleton. Just punch a bitch. <laughs> and they literally did that in fucking Scary Room 2. It's like, oh my god, we're gonna die, and it's a skeleton. And she's like, Sydney, it's a fucking skeleton! It just, like, it breaks him apart. He's like, there's nothing! Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it. By the owner's dead body. May it be you, more used to you. I mean, he's he's dead. Here. I don't normally go abide by looting corpses. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish it I is fucking Spike. Wh who? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, he's played by a different voice actor. I tracked down that guy for you. Hey, what? What? What guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you guessed right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. And where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly they're knocking on our doors. All right, but you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So, what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. 
See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Totally me to hear from you soon. I'll just go straight to the city. It's not that simple. Villador was supposed to be one of the zones. Cities that were walled off to keep out the plague. The plan fucked up. But this city and its walls survived. But this guy knows a way in. Get in touch with him and he'll tell you everything. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz. At dawn, the guy's waiting for you. The aesthetic of this game is very different. The original game was based off of, like, Turkey and Istanbul and shit, and it was very, like, Persian, Middle Eastern, Hungary-inspired, and this one is honestly kind of based off, like, Europe, from what I'm saying. Denmark, Prague. Ah, uh, biters. Oh! is already better. 
Okay, so it doesn't look like zombies can swim. Welcome to Misty Forest National Forest. Looks like in this game you don't ever have stamina for when you sprint. Oh. It's when you climb. So we're going Breath of the Wild! I don't even want to say that though, because I'm so fucking sick and tired of people comparing every game to Breath of the Wild! Like, Breath of the Wild was great! But, like, games can exist without being fucking Breath of the Wild. They act, and then they act like Breath of the Wild invented open worlds. Like, it invented, you know, all this shit. And it didn't. Oh, they have ropes you can grab and swing from. That's cool. Oh, yeah! Paco level up! I don't like to retire like this when you hold it. R while jumping. Okay, well, I mean, it's a start, right? And let me see. Reduce fall damage. That is fucking awesome. So that is literally the second skill you get. Whereas in the original game, that was one of the last skills you got for parkour. Firm grip. Okay, that's pretty cool. Fast climb, ledge jump. Well, actually, you had that in the original game, so I guess now you're gonna earn it. Safe landing, jump instantly from an active landing. That's kind of cool. Rotate jump, turn 180 degrees in the air. Oh, hey, that's also kind of cool. Reach even greater heights. Press RB twice while performing a jump. Far jump. Yeah, the uh, I've seen that. Sleek runner, increase your speed. Slide while running. Okay, so you have to earn sliding. Slide jump. 
Gain a burst of speed after performing specific parkour moves. Dash. Dart. Dash. Enemy jump. Wow, they make you get really far in the game to get the part the jump. Over enemies. That was like one of the first skills you got in the original game. So they made some stuff available earlier and didn't. Oh, you have a crouch jump and movement. Crowd runner. Tic tac. So yeah, wall running. Wall run jump. Wall combo. That actually looks kind of awesome. And then... Volt Kick. Perfect Dodge. And this game has actually a lot of shit. I'll be on the lookout. Almost there. So this is a regular jump, this is a high jump. That's cool. I think I have a lot of fun with this game, actually. It's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. It won't get any better than this. That looks like that's the city right there. They also said this map was about double the size of Dying Light 1. Dying Light 1... Not counting the following, they already said that the following was a much bigger map because it was countryside, all countryside with a car. Uh, but uh, Dying Light uh, 2, they said it was double the size of both the city maps put together, which, you know, for city, that actually is pretty big. Dying Light had a pretty big city. The way the jumping it feels kind of weird to me. I think I'll get used to it, but it just it, it definitely feels much lighter. Ow. The broadcast station should be here somewhere. I will say it definitely feels very different. Like I recently played through. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh, hold on a second. Not main menu. Options. HUD. Game. Hold on. QT a hold mode. I hate having the fucking mash buttons, so I just turned it to hold. Like, for real, I'm tired of these match buttons, it just gets old. This is it. The broadcast station. I gotta start the generator. What the 
this shit. Wait a second, dodge. See now you little fucker. Shit to make more health. No, I don't. Doesn't like your first safe zone, yeah. Going into child experiments. That's kind of get dark. Nothing good will come of this. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Baby, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. He's 
easy. Aziz says, even if they separate us, this is how we'll always find each other. will be here any moment. Wait. Close your eyes. Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? Yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. Thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait! I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Rita. Also, you know, the original game was very bleak and fucked up because it was right after the apocalypse. This is like 21 years later. So they've shown that the world has healed and kind of grown. And they're really kind of stressing the beauty of the wilderness, which I actually think is pretty cool. The music is also very different. The, the music in the original Dying Light was like almost synth. This music is almost like, it is almost kind of like a beat rock. Weird. And more, even the music sounds more hopeful. It's kind of weird. But the music in the original game sounded fucking sinister. God is dead. I will say this, while the jumping feels more floaty, it means you have more time in the air and you actually have way more control over how you jump. Like, I can actually, 
as you see, spin around. You could not do that in Dying Light 1. I think I'll like it. I just think it'll take me time to get used to it. positive and uplifting his music is. But I guess for him, he got news that the person he loved is still alive. His sister is still alive. So for him, it's a great thing. Hello? It's Aiden. Can you hear me now? I swam across the lake. So, you've almost reached the tunnels. There's an entrance. The only one the GRE left when they sealed off the city. I'm coming from the other side. Hurry up. What's wrong? Hurry. The yeah, GRE was corrupt as fuck in the original game, so... I'm not thinking it's gonna change. Probably was the GRE that did what they did to him. You also have way more stamina. In the original game, in the beginning, in the opening hours, you had almost no stamina for the uh, first opening. Yeah, once again, Dying Light 2, just like Dying Light, looks to be one of those games where it's you can't fight every enemy you see. You gotta have to pick your battles. There's too many zombies to just go at it all willy nilly. <laughs> And just like in Dying Light 1, the best way to avoid the zombies is usually the rooftops. Which is really fucking true. It makes sense that zombies probably wouldn't be able to climb. I mean, they're sitting there fucking shambling around, you know? Climbing takes a lot of dexterity. Most regular people can't do it. Oh, see, that was slick. That was actually fucking slick. It's kind of amazing, like, how I played almost an hour and I haven't even got past Can the prologue getting into the city. I'm not crazy. Oh, 
Ah, Come fuck. On. Bit me. A volatile. Lots of those fuckers in the sewers. We must get to the light quickly. Where's Mia? Uh, later. We have to move. <laughs> Resist it. It'll pass. <laughs> Just stay strong. Here you are. We've been looking for you. <laughs> What about this one? Uh, seems dead to me. Didn't have it on him. Have it. Let's go! Let's go! Some of the voice acting is really good and some of it's cheesy. Have Didn't have it on him! I swear! Let's go! <laughs> Finally, a fucking flashlight. you're talking about. Let him go. You're gonna make us let him go, punk? Would you like to see you do that? Bring it! Hey, jump over stagger means and fall with a kick. Who was that? There's no time. In my pocket. I left you something. 
<laughs> what, what is this? A GRE access key. The peacekeepers, they found it. We cannot lose it. You, you were gonna tell me what happened to my sister. Where's Mia? You will go to Fisheye. There, ask for a girl named the Wan. Give that to her. With it and her help, you'll learn. You will learn everything. Understand? Protect it. If Waltz gets his hands on it, the whole city, everyone will die. Waltz? Is Waltz here? He is. They're coming. You hear that? Renegades, run! We'll go together. Take this. Right, let's go. Fuck! There's our lost lamb! And he's not alone. We can fix that. Slaughter him! To run, but, but, but I'm looking for him. You we... idiot, he'll kill you if he finds you. Dylan! Fuck, get to the vent. Quick, this way, you first. What are you doing? Waltz can't get the GRE key, remember? What? Let me out! I... Fish high, the one. Go! There's the traitor! Uh, I did it. <laughs> hey, fellas. Let him go.
Why did you betray me? This key is not yours. You can't... Where is it? In here. This is the end. I'm sorry. <sighs> Getting misty? Not really. You're only dying. Before zero hour, my grandfather raised horses. Beautiful rare breeds. I love them dearly. One day his most beloved horse fell off the slope and broke his leg. I thought Grandpa would help him, but he just pulled out his pistol and put it in my hand. He told me, you're doing it for him. Then he pressed my finger on the trigger. I screamed. I wanted my grandfather to die. But years later, I realized what must be done must be done. You leave me no choice, my friend. <laughs> Someone's here. In the bed! Get it! I just like fucking around through different graphic modes. Damn! Oh, that hurts! This game has like a surprisingly lengthy fucking tutorial. I think that was the end of the tutorial. I think now I'm in the actual city. Oh my god! Oh my god, that went bad so quickly. 
Leave him the fuck alone! <laughs> <laughs> Here come! He's about to turn! What's his problem? Thought it was a sneezy He's an outsider! He must be killed! He's with me! You got that? Didn't I tell you not to go anywhere without me, eh? Didn't I fucking tell you? Who the fuck are you? They'll tell you about. Shh, shh, not now. <laughs> Yana, get the inhibitor! Who the fuck is it? Dr. Terry, will you? Bring him here! He's moving. Hack on? Kill him, hack on. Kill him before I do it for you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. Breathe. <laughs> Seems he hasn't turned. Seems? Hack on, I don't want that here. You've come back to us. Blink if you understand. Ah! Fuck my head. You were on the verge of turning, but UV light and inhibitors pulled you back. Uh, the bat helped too, of course. You're alive. Let's keep it that way. Guy almost kills us all and you're chatting him up? Girls, relax. They're frightened. You almost destroyed their workshop. We need to move out. Can you walk? But I don't understand. Where are we going? To a safe place. I gotta get to the fisheye. The fisheye? Without the biomarker, you won't get near it. What the hell is that? Biomarker. Monitors the disease's progression in the dark. That's your ticket into the city. Without it... Uh, okay, so I'm stepping not out of the yet. light is sort of a lottery. You don't know when you turn. You need a biomarker. And I know where to find one. Come on. Relax. Everything's under control. It'll be fine, hey? You're weak. Take a minute. Drink. Seriously? What next? Maybe we should draw him a bath. Sounds pretty cozy to me, ladies. Uh, maybe next time. Get banned, hat <sighs> on. She adores me. Why are you helping me? Let's get to know each other and find out. You go first. Where'd you get all those? None of your business. You're careful. Good. You live longer. You a real pilgrim? Or did you steal that badge? I'm a... I, would, I was a pilgrim. An hour to dusk. I'm serious, Hakon. He's not staying the night here. Here. Your weapon and your radio. Not even a pilgrim could get by without that. Come on, let's go. Man, what the fuck, dude? Okay, so actually I'm in the city now, apparently. Cool. Not bad. Where's the fish eye? The canteen is there, in the center, past the chemical dumps. Uh, I need to get there. Too bad. Only way to go is through the tunnel. They protect it like a portal to the fucking Valhalla. Near impossible to get through. It's my specialty. Where's the tunnel? Not so fast, cowboy. You won't get far without a biomarker. You are a threat to everyone. And you've already seen how people in Villador react to a threat. 
Well, can you help me? You seem to be familiar with the city. I've lived in this city since before the world got fucked up. I could help you, but... You need a biomarker. You won't get far without it. Where are you from? Pretty far, I guess. About 2,000 kilometers. Oh, shit. How the heck did you not get infected? That's easy. Didn't let him bite me. Here it's different. Here we're all infected. Heard of Haran. They isolated Villador too. They built walls. They locked us in. Turned out to be the thing that saved us. And how do you get a biomarker? Uh, you can't get them. Unless you know the right people. And I do. Let's go. By the way, I'm Hakon. I'm Aiden. Nice to meet you, Aiden. Welcome to paradise. I mean, it is a very visually striking game. I actually really like it. I always wanted to go to Europe. Over here! Yeah, I just I just can't play in any other mode but frame rate, dude. Oh, you do know the mood. Just moves. feels so much smoother. I was in the military. Special unit. For seven years, I even liked it, except when I didn't. For insubordination, got blacklisted, and they zeroed my bank account. Ended up driving a cab. Ouch! How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Fuck you! At least I got to know my way around the city. Oh, come on! Ah, oh, shit, okay. You're too weak. Without an inhibitor, you won't last. Didn't I smash everything in sight last time you gave it to me? That was just the first time. But then it gets better. If you survive, of course. Catch! You're telling me I could have died? If I hadn't given it to you, you would have died anyway. So, why are you helping me? I know people are generally scared of you guys, but one pilgrim saved my life. I was a pilgrim. Now I'm infected. It'll be much harder to travel. <laughs> then welcome to your new beginning, my friend. Check out this place. They're like treasure chests. Usually got good stuff in them. Check it out. I'll wait. People hide a lot of things in places like this. In case someone can't make it back to a shelter before dark. What's that? Crystals. Someone must have stashed them here. They formed after the chemicals were dumped on us. Some believe they delay infection. Folk superstition. So you don't collect them? Sure I do. Superstitious people pay a fortune for them. And I am always happy to take someone's cash. There's one specific chest I'm after. Come on, let me show you.
Come on, come on. Stop. So, you have an army here? Oh, the peacekeepers. They treat people like that too. Watch out for them. They guard the tunnel you want to go through. Tell me more about them. They consider themselves righteous protectors. Well, they are good at killing infected, so you got to give them credit for that. They're pretty efficient killers. Yeah, but their righteousness comes with a price. Always remember this. You either play by their rules, or you're fucked. Their protection of the bazaar is more like an occupation. Now, on the trail, I met a lot of tough guys who talked about the New Order. It always seemed like the same old shit to me. Yeah, it's like that here too. And the PKs are getting worse. I'll proceed with caution. Good. Though it might not help. The PK are a pain. Seriously riling up the bazaar folks. The bazaar is a box of dynamite one spark away from blowing up. Hey, are we going? You uh, wanted to show me something? Sure, follow me. Surprises. It's getting dark. They are about to wake up. Quickly, open the chest. In return, we'll get your biomarker. Fuck. Fuck. Thieves. Thieves. Wait. No, 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 leave it. Mess up that lock and everything's fucked anyway. Enough for a biomarker? Where'd you get that? I've been all over this city more than most, but even I haven't seen working GRE equipment for years. I can't say much, but a former GRE scientist, Dylan, gave it to me. A guy named Waltz killed him. And before he died, Dylan gave me the key to keep it from Waltz. It contains important information, apparently. I hope to find out more at the fisheye. We'll have to see, won't we? <sighs> Fuck me! We took too long! Plan B! Run like hell! Find the UV lamp. The bazaar. We can make it. Follow me. Quick. They're close. Go on. Hakon, uh, come on, open up now. Hakon, a howler's coming. Biomarkers. 
There's no time. We've got the howler on our asses. Biomarkers. Didn't you hear? Behind us. I said biomarkers. Here. And his? He's with me. I have to see his biomarker. Let us just inside the door at least. I need to see his biomarker. How about some electronics, huh? Fuck her. Open up. Here, huh? Killian! Keep them busy! Killian! Fuck! Killian! Come on! Killian! Trip over my body this morning and get killed! We're done. Trouble loves company. Hakon, get us in there! I'm trying. Kill him! Gillian, should have waited a while longer. Almost did. Didn't want to clean your guts off my doorstep in the morning. They've left, so can you. Oh, come on, stop being such a bastard already. Look at this. Where did you? That's rare. Invite us in, or it'll get even more rare. Who is this? I'm a pilgrim. Haven't been here long, have you? How did you get into town? I'll tell you everything. Just let us in. I waited for a pilgrim once. He was supposed to... Ah, oh, forget it. Doesn't matter anymore. 
What are you up to, hack on her? I gave him an inhibitor. He survived. Are you mad? He needs a biomarker. Don't have one. Bullshit. Seriously. <sighs> Motherfucker. The hospital then. I was hoping to avoid it. Always looking for an easy way, huh, Hakon? I just need a UV lamp. I'll come back for you. Hold tight. Hakon, why are you helping him, huh? Remember when we used to help people? Me? Sure. But I doubt you do. Stay here and rest by the lamp. Don't listen to that dumbass. <sighs> Idiot. We used to help people, remember? Sure, I remember, you moron. A fucking cabbie and a mother of mercy, all in one. Good, you. Good cook. Everyone around. I just said that's what you should do, cook. Life would have been easier. No night runners, no thought, <laughs> no problem. Find me. <laughs> HQ here. Hospital right needed. Copy. Yeah, very funny. Did you make it? Almost. Biomarkers are at the GRE hospital. I'll be there shortly, but to get the job done, I need you to join me. Where should I go? With Killian's okay. door to your back, you'll be pointing right at it. Hold the line. <laughs> Keep to the roof. Because if the Howler spots you... Yeah, I know. Don't want to go up against any of those anytime soon. I was taking my second wife to the hospital. Never drove that fast in my life. Her waters broke three months early. You have kids? There was no saving that one. And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. It's fine. What normal person would want his kids to see a world like this? <laughs> is broken. Don't worry. Find the old bus. The bus? At zero hour, a bus crashed into the hospital. Broke through the wall. You can use it to get inside. Since no one could get in, there's a good chance there'll be some markers left. Entrance. I marked a safe route for you. I'm waiting by the lobby. Hey! This way. Big building, huh? GRE took over quite a few of these for drug research. When it all got fucked, they grabbed research volunteers. But they paid them lots of money. What was the result? A lot of shit. Just a little more. We don't have much time. Stay close to me. Ah! 
God damn it. locked. You know how to open locks? Sure. Turn the key. What if you don't have a key? Hakon, I've traveled thousands of kilometers. You think doors are a problem for me? <laughs> okay, just checking. I think this room should have all the instruments you need, Maestro. I found some scrap. You can make lock picks out of that. Good work. Um, you didn't lie. You know your stuff. I had no other choice. Was forced to know my stuff. Everything okay? Yeah. Are you sure? God. Talk to me. Hold on a second, let me pause.
Sorry, just give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. Just had to look at something. This hospital. I've been in one like this before. A GRE facility. Well, there are a few of them around the city. I'm having these... these memories. The person I'm looking for is Mia. She's my sister. I told you about Waltz before. <laughs> Mentioned something. Yeah. I don't know. It's all mixed up in my head. Uh, you suppressed the memory. Like I did of my third wife. Uh, look, I'm sure the infection ain't helping. Chin up. We'll find the marker and clear out. Let's go. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Like I said, I just can't. Control of the virus. The GRE started spraying the whole city with that filth. Worked out great for them, huh? <clears throat> mm hmm. Bad. 
so. This guy you told me about, what was his name? Waltz? Yes. Why did you mention him? Because I remember he was doing some kind of experiment. <sighs> he wasn't the only one doing them. There were more cities like Villador, with walls cut off from the rest of the world. Many people were working toward a vaccine, Aiden. But... Well, the world is full of shitheads. Sorry, just give me one second. One second. Okay. Be careful. It's not stable. Come on. Ah, shit. Hold on. Alright, I'm gonna end this part here. I'll be back in a little bit. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you.